Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Got a few showers this morning and afternoon. So, so solar. Sun does pop out like you can see right now and then goes away. And I'll show you what I do on days like this. So this Red Odo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery has been running a 20 cubic foot refrigerator 24 seven for the past several weeks. And that's all it's been running. And this morning I woke up and this was down to uh, right at about 20%. And I know that during uh, the conditions that we're gonna have today, it's not gonna uh, go up to where I want it to with the intermittent sunshine I'm getting today, you can see now, hopefully uh, that shows at 26%. Going up slowly, but take a peek at the app, 500 watts of solar tied into that. Now, if it was a nice sunny day, even running that refrigerator, I could get up to a nice full charge, which it has been doing for weeks. But you can see right there, 59 watts, is all I've got coming in off of a 500 watt string. And this is what it looks like. It's coming in through that Victron 130. Had the refrigerator plugged into this reliable inverter. And what did I do today? I simply unplugged the refrigerator from this inverter, took it out right there, Plugged it into the 24 volt system right next to it, which was sitting at 100% full. And I'll show you that battery, but running that Victron Phoenix 24 volt, 375 watt. And that's that pure sine wave inverter from Victron. Really like that. And I've got this uh, dongle tied onto it as well. We'll take a peek at. I've got 300 watts of solar uh, coming into this time USB, 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And it was at 100% full. And you can see right there, right now, running that refrigerator, 97.1%. And on 300 watts of solar, only got 33 watts. So that's kind of the day, but now I know that for the next couple of days, regardless of what the sun does, I'm covered running that refrigerator 24-7. So, yeah, this is going to drain down some today, and that's just fine. Just chasing the power around a little bit. And it's all about keeping this 20 cubic foot LG refrigerator freezer running 24-7. So that's just an easy way to do it. Like I said in the past couple of weeks, that Red Odo and 500 watts of solar with the conditions we've been having just makes that run perfectly. This morning I got up, was down to that 20%, and that's when I like to switch things over. And you can see just how easy I've made that. You know, I've got the, the Red Odo right there. I could tell by this morning that I, I wasn't going to be able to get that battery up where I like to. I like to make sure I keep them between that 20 and 80 percent as a rule. Um, you know, it's not hard and fast, but it, it's just that easy to do. So, yeah, it was just simple. Unplug from one inverter, plug the refrigerator into the, uh, uh, the full battery that was just sitting there, that 24 volt sitting there ready to go. And I never miss a beat keeping that refrigerator. That's the one main thing uh, that I want to keep running all the time. And that's one reason I've done these little side by side. So like I said, under the conditions we've been having lately, the 500 watts of solar driving this keeps up just fine. Simply unplug from one, plug into the other, keeps the food, food nice and cold. Everything's running fine. And there's the refrigerator running, 
pulling 70 watts. And now actually getting a burst of sun on those 300 watts worth of panels. And instead of drawing down, we are actually charging a little bit, but that's not gonna last very long. And it's, I've got a lot of dark clouds rolling through. It'll quickly drop back off, but it doesn't matter. Even if I wasn't to see no more sunshine today, uh, this thing's gonna run it for a couple of days easy. And I'll let it just sit here for as long as it can. And I'll probably just, you know, eventually drive this down to that 20% full. And when it does, the other one will be completely full. And I will again, just switch them back and forth. Now, right now you can see, <laughs> loving that, uh, the panels are actually overproducing a little bit just by three watts, but still that's fantastic. And that's because, uh, you know, it's a fairly cool day here, only, you know, about 78, 79 degrees, and then there's a cloud rolling by. So yeah, this will continuously draw down a little bit, but throughout the day it might keep up fairly well, but 100 amp hours ready to go at all times. And like I said, when this thing draws down to its 20%, where I like to switch things back over, the other one will be just completely full. And that's what it looks like up in the sky. So you can see those little patches of blue there. Uh, when they're perfectly aligned with the sun, those panels, you know, wide open, start pumping the power real fast. And then the darker clouds roll through. And I draw down a little bit, but... Yeah, that's as hard as it is today. I had to get up out of my chair, walk over to the inverters, unplug a cord, move it about four inches to the next inverter, plug it in, never missed a beat. And that's a work day. <laughs> All right, everybody have a great weekend. Can't complain about that. Aloha. Yeah, there's some blue sky way out there coming. <laughs> All righty.